All right, hello, hello, Leos. Leos, this is your second monthly message for July. The second video is really going to resonate for actually your birthday season, okay? So uh, happy, happy birthday to the Leos, those uh, end of July Leos. Um, so this one, there was a lot of Piscean energy uh, originally, so I give times and dates, keep that in mind. You can also check your rising sign, moon sign for the monthlies to get further clarification specifics for individual Leos, okay? So that first one, I do link them in the description box if you did not watch that one. Um, and it depends, maybe you're getting this at the end of the month, okay? So take it how it resonates, guys. I saw 319, there was more other Leos, like or excuse me, uh, Piscean energy. A lot of the March Pisceans actually is what I was getting. Uh, and then, of course, there. then we kind of shift into the Aries energy. So I also saw that. I saw Capricorn 116 and Cancer sign. Uh, so I'm kind of, there seems to be this interlinking with the uh, Cancer sign. 7-3, I kept seeing 73, uh, 7 one even, 404, 405. And then, of course, Virgo, a lot of Virgo was in that first one. Um, and I saw the Virgo energy again, 9-4, 9-5, and 9-9 in, in particular with that. All right, so like I was saying, I'm going to pull tarot for your end of the month of July, shifting into your birthday season. So, like, let's say 7-21, 7-22, uh, anything like that, okay? Um Man, <laughs> and I'm going to be pulling relationship messages for the Leos uh, from the De La Luna answers oracle. And I, I will actually ask about every single zodiac sign. Um, wow, there was definitely some weird, crazy stuff. And afterwards, I want to share, I'm going to bring the camera down, but I want to share a little bit of the uh, essence of an epiphany, Okay. Um, I'm going to bring up other people that we see in the world that's been in the justice system, different things like that. Uh, other Leo. Uh, so Chad Daybell, he, we all found out he's been found guilty. He uh, received the death sentence. Um, and then I brought up, I know, we. it's like you never want to even go to these yucky things. But Jeffrey and Jeffrey Epstein, and um, I'm pretty sure he hung himself. Right, and I have no clue what his uh, zodiac sign. I, I don't really want to know. I mean, it it, it needs to be uh, investigated for the protection of the children more than anything. Right, uh, that's how for the highest good of all is protecting the innocent from uh, perverted other human beings. Okay. And we can keep that in mind that he didn't do it alone, that a Maxwell woman was a groomer. So it doesn't matter your gender. You can be a uh, predator. Um, so Daybell, I don't know why. Uh, and I have no clue. Like the other weird thing I got is Matthew Perry was Leo. And it's so weird because it was way back in the beginning of this year. I think that may have been when he passed. And I had the weirdest synchronicity. And I actually, it was with a Capricorn reading. Um, and I didn't know his zodiac sign at the time. But then him being found, you know, in, I think it was a hot tub or a jacuzzi tub or something and, and deceased. And I kept thinking, I was like, there's something more to this. Like something more to this. There's poisoning. And it's coming forth that he had ketamine, right, in his system. And they're further investigating Okay, uh, I feel like the other Leo is, like, uh, Chris Cornell. And I kept getting stuff with, like, Alice in Chains. Um, interesting. Anyways, I am going to pull the finishing up of the tarot for this one. Thank you all so much, Leos. Check my channel for some pick a card, pick a dex. Um, and like I said, watch the first one if you haven't. I really feel guided for who is drawn to this. I I have some, I'm going to be doing some, pick a squirrel. <laughs> pick a squirrel, pick a pile, mixed messages. So when I do my pick a cards, I thoroughly enjoy doing those. It's a mystery. Um, and then I unveil it. And then I read the cards uh, and see what the main message is, right? For whoever is guided in. And I, at this point, have not actually read the cards or done them, but 
uh, maybe interlinking. I do have some mermaid messages and water, healing waters. And maybe those will be the ones that I will put them in uh, to pick uh, potentially uh, for further clarification and guidance for individual Leos. Okay, let's jump in. Um, I really enjoyed, uh, I really enjoyed like the forest stuff, right? And the hummingbird spirit, you got the fairy here, the Celtic stuff. I opened the runes for you, which was a little scary when I started reading into some of that and I share my own personal beliefs right and if it doesn't fit line with your beliefs that's okay I have my reasonings I've already done my research and investigated it and um I think that's the biggest thing is standing firm in your beliefs you know and it's okay to change your view when new information comes to light right because there was a time like when I studied the bible it was like I put all my focus for one whole year. I removed doing any of this stuff because I want to make sure that I'm not doing something that's going to bring harm upon me or my family, right? And opening myself up to things like that. So it was like, all right, to get clarification and guidance so you're not manipulated, you should know what the scriptures say, especially if you're listening to, uh, you know, people selling Jesus to you for donations. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't because that's what I see. The common core is... The Christians want your money. <laughs> oh, man. And a control over, like, dominance over uh, your life. And uh, and and the term Christian. Um, so, I love, I think, I love Jesus as what I've, everything I've researched about him. I have yet to find, I, I, I did not find anything that was really, that was negative. Um in what I would deem inappropriate behavior, like, like with King David in there, uh, in the Bible. And, uh, I mean, I, I also studied a lot about Hindu stuff, uh, Jehovah's Witness, Mormonism, I mean, cults, all of them. We can look at the Jim Jones stuff. So, and then Chad Daybell. Wow. What a, <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually see him, but we had the emperor in reverse. And then there was other things uh, manipulating um, and having power over women and children um, in a harmful way. There was other things I talked about regarding other obsessions and addictions that have to do with uh, medicinal or body modification or even body dysmorphia. Yeah. Um, eating disorders, things like that, right? Anyways, let's see what comes through for this month. Uh, underneath there, oh, I already did see this. I'm seeing someone feeling like they're very, they feel unvictorious. Uh, the six of rods in reverse. Uh, I feel like this is someone not winning. Like this is an ego death even. Um, they feel very, maybe there's a lot of shame. I don't, I mean, uh, I'm just feeling, seeing like someone feeling like they they didn't win. Um, that's what's underneath the deck, anyways. So for Leo's, okay, wow, we got the King of Coins up right though. Wow, so so much about so much Virgo coming through. Uh, I didn't bring up Taurus so much, but there just seemed to be potentially a little bit of Taurus, um, and a little bit of Capricorn. Upright, though, he's understanding how to be humble because this is even really talking about gratitude and uh, humility. And um, maybe this is the whole thing, like an ego check. But this is also being understanding and about the physical body, the physical world, uh, money, and, ha and having a, a good relationship with that and being giving. So... Even with, you know, things with the Bible and things like that, it's like, you know, God loves a cheerful giver and, you know, and, you know, whatever you give out will come back to you, right? And I think, I feel like a lot of, that's almost a reap what you sow energy, a, uh, hmm, but understand that reap what you sow, I mean, to sow means sowing the seeds, right? So where you put your focus, where you put your, your attention, your time, your money, 
um, whether it's in the interest of everybody. See right here where we got that ten of coins in reverse. So I'm bringing up for I bring up the daybell person because um, he had property, he had a home, he had a legacy, and and the same thing with all of that, like. Uh, and it's a huge loss. It could even be like foreclosure, losing a business even, or something like that. Um, mm. Okay. Whomever this was, okay? Uh, I'm all this down here. <laughs> this is the emperor in reverse. And someone was no longer defending this person. See, I feel, feel like... So there's a time. Uh, I want to share something. So... When my grandmother found out that her oldest son, who was a Capricorn, ironically, I just need to share that, damn, um, allegations of, uh, S.A., child S.A., of his stepchildren, stepdaughters, uh, and he did die in prison, and he was the last one to die, Any, anyways, um, she couldn't, you know, I think the initial reaction is to, you can't believe it. It's, it's, you know what I mean? You want to defend and protect. And I also see this as, um, recognizing that somebody, it's like no longer defending or blocking or protecting this person because, um, seeing the truth, right? Even though it's a hard pill to swallow. Wow. Okay. I see something about golfing like that too. Like, um, like maybe even not winning at golf, like being the loser. This is a loser. Uh, this person feels like they lost, uh, but they've been humbled maybe. Um, cause they're, maybe their ego is getting too big because of money. Uh, things like that. Okay. <laughs> because think of those, those elite people even, and thinking that they are, I mean, I don't think Daybell had much money. He was, uh, <sighs> anyway, but he still did. And he ended up having it. He like turned it all over to like his lawyer to pay for lawyer fees. So, uh, so his property and his house and all that stuff that maybe his, his family or his children could have had, uh, is gone now. And there's the other song by Radiohead. Uh, I think it's off the album in rainbows. And every time I see that it's, it makes me think of that and it's called reckoning and it's, it's just about for all humans remember you can't take it with you you can't take it with you and that's why it is something you leave behind uh and if you're not you know what i mean and the, the bible also says the wise man leaves and so king solomon right the wise man leaves behind inheritance for their grandchildren now do you see that in this day and age really does it go to the grandchildren or does it go to the spouse even if uh you know if there's multiple marriages and uh, or it just goes to because i my grandparents passed and i got i've gotten nothing um my mother passed and i was able to get some of the items but i didn't get the opportunity to like go through my things and her clothes and do things like that and um, I never saw a dime of like her retirement life insurance and everything she was doing was for her children. And um, my stepfather, ex stepfather, and uh, basically stole it. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. So yeah, F you, mother ever. And, and he had nothing. My mom met him and he lived in a fucking camper on, an, on someone, someone else's property. He was bankrupt. He had bad credit. She like, and so it's very frustrating for me. Um, and that's something that I, and I realize as I am uh, healing things and trying to work through forgiveness and things like that and let it go. Um, if it comes up and comes back around, it's not healed yet. And I still need to process it and work through it. And that's okay. And so we all go through these things, uh, and I would never wish that. But I think that's something this needs to be really looked at in our in the laws, in the legal paperwork, and all of this stuff. Because I know of other families, um, where a similar thing happened. Uh, you know, I feel like there was another one. So I brought up Casey Kasem one time. 
the radio guy and how his uh, wife basically took away the rights of their and oh yeah Michael Miller and that JP guy and all of that so these things are still going on maybe more information comes forth regarding that in the news um, and even the other okay let's see Leo's so Leo's for this end of end of July message what is going on for the Leo's during their birthday season end of July and then also check my channel for your birthday messages Leo because you will be the first ones for the August okay we've got money coming in ah a gift a birthday present oh look at that I love it maybe this has to do so there's this loss so let's say this did fall over here right uh by the Virgo energy or hermit mode right and also what else do I got here 910 in specific per, per per se uh there was also seven nine but ooh ten one so it's the so there was ten pentacles right and so you're left with one but this is actually a potential new job gift but it's your birthday season so I'm gonna call it as something like that receiving a gift a bonus this is a big uh, a big chunk of change that's enough to invest in something big and it could even have to do with uh, because look at this we've got the skull right here and the bones on this particular coin so this could have to do with death benefits even because that's the whole thing with legacy and paperwork scorpionic uh, energy also represents other people's money right and when we look at ministries and stuff like that um, they're floating off of other people's money. The government even. <laughs> Anyways, first things first, uh, there is something you're receiving, something of monetary value, okay? That's a good sign. Maybe to, maybe from an Aries person or uh, to help you into this unknown, right? Maybe it's even an investment or a loan, Um but most likely, the way I see it, it has to do with uh, maybe it's a settlement offer. Maybe it's a piece of something. But to me, because it's your birthday season, I, I see it as receiving a gift, right? A big gift. Maybe, yeah, something you were hoping for. All right, that's pretty good. Let's continue on. So after this big gift was coming forth for the Leos. Whoa, those ones flipped over here okay what do we got the world wow that's the completion we do have two of cups in reverse and i feel like it could be <sighs> yarrow fitzpatrick 1883 brewed in belfast 1877 i'm looking at these these are really interesting cards so it came in reverse this is the soulmate so these are empty cups and we do also have this queen of rods empty. Um, I feel like that's a completion of this because uh, they wanted, they either just were fighting and competing with you. There could even be other people in your family. Soulmate doesn't always have to be romantic, right? It, it's uh, usually it's someone at one point, it felt like you totally connected and you understood and it was a mutual compassionate love. So it very much could be about, because we have lovers in reverse and two of cups in reverse. That's, uh, I feel like they just wanted to fight and compete. Um, there's this final completion though. The world is here. Ooh, 121. Let me look at this card for a minute. I'm seeing like it's cutting open her belly, right? There is maybe there is some surgery or something. Maybe there was um cuz I brought up those things. So when there uh, there's an addiction to like your physical appearance and getting these types of modifications or uh plastic surgeries or injections and stuff, um a lot of times you'll find like even with so for example, even with like um a hip replacement finding out later that the the medical stuff was wrong and then you get a lawsuit and da 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 so they have to end up doing more surgeries to remove these things but i'm seeing that this is that completion like 
so whatever was going on with this person, it will be finished then. That's what I'm seeing. It's a finality. It's something new. So this is an ending for a new beginning, like the ending of this book. That's the way I always see this is this chapter is over. Maybe this is a, a completion of a, a whole book uh, of life or, you know, this is it's a, a done deal now. Um, this completion, maybe the 21st is very important. And maybe we're also even pulling in a little Aquarius energy because that's your opposite. Um, and then I've also got 221. Ooh, I got two five. I'm pulling a little bit more Aquarian energy. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to share with you guys. Um, this is actually a month that's a little challenging for me because this is a reunion of um, my my youngest brother taking his own life. Um, and I'm seeing that. I'm seeing the date and I'm seeing his birth date coming through. Okay. I also see... 35 again, 35, maybe these are ages even, maybe they're 21, um, 5, 2, and 2, 5, right? And I, and I, like I said, I feel like with some of these things, it is like the meds and stuff create mm, worse. Cymbalta, uh, over, overdoing, the feeling like they can't be healed, They've tried everything. They're practicing something new and it's just creating more. Maybe even it's something new they're trying. You are them, right? Hmm. 221. All right. So I do have, I see this is no longer wanting to fight or compete. And that was already there. And like, this is even knowing your own worth. And if there is other, uh, cause we had that queen of wands in reverse there. So this could be you just being very angry even, uh, but I usually see her as someone really trying to get the attention, uh, compete with others um, for the spotlight, uh, um, or very angry, trying to dominate a love tonic. I, I, so it's like the love is empty. It didn't work. Mm, okay. Why is that? I see the sun. There's your card. And the magician in reverse. Oh, okay. Ooh. 119. I'm pulling out of Capricorn. 1-3. Magician in reverse also shows that someone doesn't know. They could have had ill will, ill manifestation. They didn't feel like they had everything they needed to create what they wanted. So they were doing things in darkness. I mean, uh, maybe even this is where stealing someone else's. So stealing is also whether people recognize it. Coveting. Coveting is... Uh, Jealousy and envy, coveting another person's partner, another person's home, another person's anything, uh, and wanting that and trying to steal the attention. Now, even though you have that queen of rods or the wands there, it could be any other sign. It's a feminine in that energy. I've seen Virgos needing this. I've seen Libras like this. I, I you know, I've seen other Leos like this. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've seen the cancer signs like that. You know, it's just uh, someone needing this attention. Underneath the deck, right? We're shining light on something. This is about joy, happiness. This is your card, Leos. Ooh. And the rods again. Hmm. 219. So there is some Piscean. One nine, even the nineteen. One two. So someone is at a crossroads. I feel like action was taken, and then there's this opportunity to shift direction or go a different path, or even turn back around if needed to. Whoa, because we have the six of cups. Even this is about your own childhood and what brings you happiness and joy. There's nostalgia that is very beautiful. Um, that feels really good. The sparrow. Ah, but there could have been apathy or boredom back then. Uh, the devil. Oh, look at that. We have the magician and the devil. The magician in reverse and the devil. I need, we, we need to look at this. Uh, this is someone trying to control another person with fear, manipulation, uh, dark arts, uh, illusion. Rawr. <laughs> 
sorry, I just, this is often the Capricorn or Gemini energy, doesn't have to be them. I see 115, no way. 1-5, controlling even a teenager. Mm. What's underneath there? The Nine of Cups in reverse. And even trying to keep, not let someone have their wish fulfillment. This person is, this could be that addiction or toxic stuff too. Interesting, I'm looking, their eye teeth are really have deep roots. That's so weird. Why is that spotlighted to me? Huh. They can't create this in real life. They can't bring it back to life. Mm. three of cups they're hoping for reunion uh a reconciliation oh even with a child or their eternal youth oh boy um but i'm seeing someone being very unapologetic uh very apathetic um, this person does not have extra money. I, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this could be potentially trying to gain the money. They're not single or they're, they're not single. Uh, they're, there's a huge loss of finance. Like there's, they're poor as hell. Oh, and they're on high defense and they don't have the strength. It's like someone does not have the strength. Uh, and they don't have the the material stuff to get what they want and create a life they want. And so they're feeling like a wounded warrior. And in trying to use their yang or their lust or their rod, their passion for money. Oh my gosh. Like trading. I'm getting trading sex for... Yeah, that's what it, yeah, okay. <sighs> Using those things, trading for money to, to try and balance out the scales. Like, they, maybe they don't have the money to pay something back, and so you, it's, it's, it's uh, mm, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So, this is a new story. Uh, right. This is the new, a new chapter, something completed with this, uh, queen of wands, which I'm pulling it as Aries energy. Okay. Because it had the fool energy, but it's just someone being young, naive, foolish. Um, right. All right. So what else do we have for this end of the month for the Leos and the soulmate, the hummingbird and joy? It fell over here. King of cups in reverse calming tonic hmm hmm well i brought up that cancer and pisces um i didn't bring up too much scorpio it's in reverse so that could be emotionally manipulating heavy drinking uh wow leo's and i brought that up and they may even be a person potentially even spying maybe they are a pisces something needs to be let go of Emotional manipulation or in heavy, heavy drinking. It fell by, maybe they're 22, maybe they're really young even. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I'm getting the 2-2 two, two again. 3-2. Okay. I'm going to set that right there because it fell by this hummingbird spirit. So, right, but... But it, I'm going to go and flow with it. And that could be what it is. Like, it feels like they're, they're playing, playing the victim or there's some type of emotional manipulation. There could actually be heavy drinking, heavy drugging, partying, feeling like they cannot, uh, things cannot be healed. They can't be healed. And there could be depression with that. I, I'm going to set it here. I might get a hummingbird message, okay, from the sacred forest because it fell over here. So I'm going to set this off to the side. This one's sticking out. Well, I'll grab those in a minute. 
I just want to see what the sacred force might have to say regarding, especially dealing with this King of Cups energy in reverse. Um, wow. And then that star in reverse. So you got Aquarian, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Cancer sign. But I didn't see Scorpio. Like, even though we've got, like, so much skull here, I don't, there's not Scorpionic. There's a lot of the Cancerian energy, but I brought up Pisces in the beginning. So, okay, let's see. So, what does the Sacred Forest have for those that are uh, dealing with this type of energy? Okay, Leos, thank you, thank you. This new gift is coming in, Aspen Spirit and Courage. Wow, this is how showing how we're all connected. This came through with a cancer sign. So I feel like it's really a cancer person, okay? And, you know, isn't it ironic? Uh, cancer energy is about being a healer. <laughs> but when in this day and age, when you say the word cancer, that is a vibe, you know what I mean? That is something that grows out of control that uh, kills people, right? Um, so this Aspen spirit is about sisterhood as well. And knowing that they're all connected, um, because Aspen's are this root system. I'm also saying like the fall, this is having courage to do this, communicate this. Okay. Let's see. Um, cause they're all, it's like their root is one. And so they're one being underneath, but it looks like a whole bunch of different trees and they help show this understanding, this connection, the ancestry, the roots, and having strength and courage. We've also got the butterfly, the morpho here. And I don't know if you guys can see my morpho right here, but let's bring the morpho over here. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Maybe they're bringing a gift in or something even. Okay. Having courage. Wow. And we have purification and the pine spirit, 330. Wow, so me and a reflecting pool. 33. Oh my gosh, we're seeing all these synchronicities. Holy, I got all the threes now. Okay, so this could also be so when I think of this, I also think of Gemini energy, the third house, communication, uh, siblings, neighbors, someone in your community. 30 and 33. How crazy is that? 30. And these could be ages as well. Three, three, three. 3033. Reflecting pull in this stillness. Hmm. 333. Wow. Look, she's the swan as she looks in. This this feminine. See, and to me, this is beautiful. Okay, and not what I'm trying to, but even though. So look, her shoulders are showing. She does have a little V-neck area, but you know, I'm just saying that this is more of a confident feminine who um, understands the power of her body as well and knows how to be classy, not trashy. So even in the stillness reflecting, because there was a pause. Wow. And then purification, the pine spirit. So we're pulling in the trees, a lot of trees for you in this forest. And this is even like the snow, you know, like um, how it's all, it like covers everything in white. And she's she looks like a fairy too. 3033, how weird is that? Maybe these are ages too. Interesting. And so much Piscean or Gemini. And then we got this one, let's see. The Wild Rose Fairy, 47. Love. Look, I'm putting, the love went right here in the center over this sadness, depression, this five of cups, uh, uh, the morphine, oh man, the cyanide. These were all things that were given by uh, two people back in the day, you know. And I mean, they still use the, not cyanide, I don't even understand. Realizing that's like toxic poison. But the wild rose fairy and love, 47. Hmm. So maybe there is a different, this could be ages. I could be pulling in even uh, Aries, Cancerian, and Libra energy. And it went in the center. Okay. So this purification, this completion even, maybe it has, like, remember I'm asking about this King of Cups, right? 
pine spirit. To me, this is even cleaning house, <laughs> like taking the time, like really detoxing. We think about like pine saw and stuff like that. The smell, maybe you, you'll smell this. Maybe you smell that then. And then we have the stillness and pausing. And as you see, she's re seeing her reflection and seeing the swan here and the transformation in this person, in this soulmate. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that at that. Maybe I will read a little bit out of the book. So this is about having courage, right? And there's this castle and the Aspens are all connected a purification cleansing house i want to read stillness 33 open up to new beginnings and daffodil spirit 54 and 55 so when i bring up these like i said these could be ages they can be birth years birth dates i see taurus uh leo virgo and uh capricorn potentially uh, let's go to 33. Oh, hummingbird spirit was right there too. Oh, there we go. And I already had, we already had 35 in spirit garden of autumn and letting go. Secret. Okay. 101, the 33. Hmm. 100%, even 101. As you stand on the soft moss at the edge of the forest pool, you can see your own reflection. A soft breeze ripples the surface. Your image wavers and shifts only to return as the air becomes still. In the quietude of this moment, you tap into the internal source of your power. You watch as your reflected image transforms into the highest form of you. What beauty and grace. Aww. In stillness, your power emerges. Tap into your inner sacred witness to discover the dwelling place of your soul. In profound peace and silence, you can discover the truth of your being. If you are in pain, go into the stillness until you find the source. This is really getting in tune to your body, right? To your mental even. If Okay, resist the temptation to indulge in feelings of overwhelm, urgency, and emergency. There is always a higher truth. Now seek it out. Your soul loves what is real and honest. In quietude, the truth merges. Move past the bustle and chatter of life into sweet stillness. Allow the chaos of the outer world to roll off your back the way water rolls off your back of a duck. Surrender to it. Seek solitude to hear the voice of spirit and serenity will follow. There's so much of my mothering coming through with that is so interesting, you know, like... Uh, the ugly duckling, right? Because it's a swan. You were never meant, to, you were never part of that. The ducks, the drakes. <laughs> That's what ducks are called. Quack, 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 quack. You're a swan. You're a whole different freaking creature. Um. Also, my mom, I was 33 when my mother passed. I think of Jesus as well with that number. 33 is a master number Um. about mastering yourself too. It's a different level. Uh, it's a new level. A whole new level. <laughs> All right. Wow. The spirit of reflecting pool says in silence, you find the dwelling place of your soul. Take time to move into quietude and you'll uncover a vast store of insight emerging within you. In ongoing situations in your life, hold back. Take time to reflect before responding. Oh, this is beautiful. It's self-mastery as well. And there was a lot about, um, you know, holding yourself back um, and really taking things slow. Even, you know, holding back from anger or certain things, communicating, uh, right? And dream either. Practice patience to draw what you want in. Those were there too. Wow. Okay. I will read the Wild Rose Fairy too. I'm going to look underneath the deck of this one. The bear spirit and healing. No way. No, we're moving into the fours. Look at that. To me, this also represents mama bear, right? Uh, hibernation even. Look how much. We got a lot of snow going on. How interesting. Snow in July. Hmm. And she's very beautiful. I love her braids. Oh, my goodness. 
Look how good her hair look. I'm like, I like her hair. And she looks real. I mean, and very elegant. Bear is protecting there. It's a mama bear. But I, I also, the flow of it, so number four is also home, family, your roots, your own mother, your own mother ring. And I'm saying this is like taking time to be alone even uh, and getting this higher guidance from your higher self or even your ancestors. Um, it is, I'm saying it is spending time at home with family and things like that. Healing. Wow. I'm going to leave that one there. All right. I didn't read the wild rose fairy. Let's read that one first, right in the center. Once again, I open up to the daffodil fairy and new beginnings. Huh. Wild rose, hummingbird spirit was there too. Seven, eight, seven, nine, and joy. Wow, okay, 415. So I'm getting cancer and Aries energy, which is different for me. Hummingbird to me usually is air energy, uh, Libra. Aquarian. I don't usually get Gemini with hummingbirds very actually though. Um, I know Cancerian. Hmm. 7, 8, 7, 9. Okay. That was there before. So it was like, this is a different level. So 22 is a master number as well. Right? And it's a master builder. Master builder of home, of foundation, of your beliefs. A lot of Taurus energy with that too. Your roots, your ancestry. The um. I feel like you'd be sitting there going um. And, and that's even that vibration. Um. And just breathing. And then asking the question. And so when you are in tune, it's so amazing how quickly the answer, as soon as the question arises, the answer is there. In just in your head, the answer is given. Okay, I'm not gonna read that one because I want to keep going. So I want to go to 47. I see, ooh, toadstools and growth. All this has been happening underneath. Uh, 44. Now we're moving forward to another mastery. 122. So I'm going to that Aquarius energy in 123. Okay, let's see love. Uh -huh. 128 and 129. Huh? How interesting is that? Uh, Aries Aquarius potentially or these could be ages like I said 128 129 11 11 11 I am pulling in also so 11 11 11 12 so now we've got uh magic is in the air 12 8 12 9 so we've got a little Sagittarius a little Scorpio a little all of those okay the scent of the wild rose is heady the perfumed fragrance swirls around you and flows directly into your heart. With each inhalation, your heart opens even wider and deeper. The soft pink color of the petals contrasts with the dark shiny leaves. Fluttering among the blossoms is a kaleidoscope of butterflies. Magic is in the air. Love is all around you. Open your heart to receive. All of life's experiences are a splendid part of spiritual evolution toward the realization that we are all love. In matters of romance, there is healing right now. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through to others and to the universe. Healing has occurred. Healing is occurring and healing will occur. Your angels, guides, spiritual guardians and allies adore and cherish you. If only you could see yourself the way those in spirit see you, you would know how profoundly and deeply loved, cherished and adored you are. Be open to allowing the creator to solve your challenges in wondrous ways. Trust that everything is unfolding graciously and perfectly in your life. The opposite of fear is love. Allow fear to dissolve as love expands. The spirit of the wild rose says, you're more cherished than you can possibly know. Open your heart to receive. Love is on its way. You are an eternal vessel for love to flow through. You are enough just as you are. Wow. Doesn't that give you like, you don't you feel it in your heart? Like it's coming out. You feel the little emotions. Like this is what you need to hear. What you need to know. 
about yourself because this is about self-love as well. I think that we're all seeking to find some type of understanding um, and because we can be our own worst critics even too, right? And maybe even if you've had someone in your life where things have been like this. Hmm. Wow. Wow, that is so beautiful. Okay, okay, Leahs. I'm going to get some more um, clarification. That was even in the middle, even with the sadness, the suppression. Hmm. Yeah, and being grateful for all the little things. The bluebell, bluebell fairy was there. We got a lot of fairies. The pink fairy came through. Time to connect to your inner child and find joy in the simplest ways. But, and then there was skunk spirit, right? Uh, and the chipmunk, okay. Strike out on your own embark and journey. Discover realization. Uh, wow, so that's kind of crazy. So the healing is, like, it's even bear spirit and healing. And healing love and love coming through. Okay, uh, well, I see feeling like justice is reversed. The brain, something going on with the brain. A temperance in reverse, justice in reverse. How interesting is that? I feel like someone feels very unbalanced, even like um, overindulging, overdoing it, feeling like things are not fair and balanced. You've got some Libra Sagittarian energy when I look there. Okay, Leos. I'm going to give it another. So it's more about this, uh, this King of Cups energy, right? So I am seeing like there was a feeling of being, uh, you know, a loss of love or a lover, right? Uh, a soulmate. And, uh, yeah. All right. What is this? What else for the Leos? Whoop. The rods to a red. So this is a crossroads. Maybe you have, uh, there is, like this is showing there is always another direction you can go. This is. Like, this is so weird because these look like a crowbar. A crowbar. Huh. Okay, why is this uh, page of wands upright? This is trying something new. Trusting even. This is still feeling at a crossroads. A little, Still a little unsure which direction to move. Okay, maybe they do. Maybe this king of cups is unsure. Um, okay, what is this? So I'm practicing something. That's what I see the page of rods. Even being a novice at it. Or it could be about a child. A fire sign child. We've got the queen of swords. And she is upright. Okay. Lovely. She's talking about. That's what I'm even saying. Uh, this fell over here about uh, this hermit. Even getting this clarification. To me, hermit mode is exactly what it's talking about here. Right? Going in. Kind of detaching from others. Getting clarity. Uh, regarding uh, legacy, regarding finances, and all that stuff I was talking about, about the, the money, the business, the property, things like that. Um, Queen of Swords, upright. So this is the blade, right? Hmm. This is thinking things through logically, communicating, giving guidance, instruction. Feminine. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So you could, and, and all could be there. That All the air energy seem to be there regardless. So take it how it resonates for you guys. Even giving guidance and instruction to take things slow. So you learn the information and then you got to go practice it or try, you know. Hmm. I like that she's upright. This is good. Even knowing the love. So, wow. Um, wow. So, I do want to ask about the end of the month where we even have this lover energy in reverse. Um, and the coins. Things just not being fair in the give and take of the relationship. There could be favoritism. There could be giving money to others or controlling the money. Not paying the bills even. Ooh, the suit, the blades. So this fell over here. Once again, about because we did see there is being done healing, but taking things slow uh, and being patient. Um, three and one, yeah, patient. There is a sense of waiting patiently. Five, six, seven. Ooh, three, seven. Right. I feel like someone is being deceptive or shady, and that's why it's like knowing that. 
right? Someone is waiting. It's like they keep you waiting. They keep you on this hook, like telling you something's coming in or they're going to be sending it or they're going to be doing it or this, like, oh, they keep you waiting. Hmm. And then where we had the six of coins in reverse, we have the seven of blades. So that's the deception. Maybe they're lying about money. They're lying about finances. They're lying about who, where the money is going. Paying bills even. They could be lying about paying off the bills or things. Why the seven of swords? More of the blades. Even about spying and stalking. Why is the seven of swords here? So someone thinks they're getting away with something right now. Because they're keeping someone on the hook. The queen of coins in reverse. Oof. And the four of cups in reverse. Wow, look at all the blues. So these deep blues. What is this? A morning glory? Deep blue flowers. Ooh, see, this is lying about some. So when we look at this with the medicine, we got Timothy Popovich. Arsenic pills. Morphine is a fever remedy. Toronto, Canada. England. Heroin cough syrup? Cyanide pills? What are these ones for? Four capsules mixed with water. Why would you even do that? So now I got the queen of coins in reverse. Okay, this is someone who's greedy. Uh, this is a, a feminine gold digger energy. That's what I see. Okay. <clears throat> That's what the lie is about. I'm seeing them... There's no regret, or like there might be a little bit of regret. Oof. Maybe it has to do all with the blues. What is there's there's clarification with this with the blue. It's very weird that the elixirs have so much blue and these have so much blue on it. They wear a lot of blue, they love blue, this dark blue. That's something to give you clarification about what is being hidden, what is sneaky. So, like I said, and I feel like they could be stalking, spying. They could be having um, a child looking in as someone. But I'm also seeing that there is greed with this feminine person. Okay. Hmm. This could be Taurus Virgo. Capricorn feminine, potentially, but... I want to see uh, someone you work with. It could be someone at, at work. It's a work thing. Um, no, wait. I'm also saying six, six. Oh, six, six. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, six. Eight, six, six. Okay. Uh, very interesting. No way. And then we've also got the four six. So regardless of, it could be a Gemini person or they could be 66 or it could be a Cancer person, even though I'm having the earth energy there. Right. It Regardless, it's a, it's a person who's money hungry. They act like they don't have any money. Um, they're hiding money. They're lying about money. They're lying about bills or where they get their money or what they're doing with the money. Uh, Hmm, that's weird. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I want to know more about this Queen of Coins person. It's in reverse. Whoa. Yeah, three of cups in reverse. So I'm saying like this is uh they're not they're like they're not coming to there's no reconciliation with this person. And maybe and I feel like they're a third party. They could just be a friend, even because three of cups in reverse is showing no re can you, no uh reconciliation yeah and now we've got the eight eight three so it's like they don't work like they're not coming back to work they're no longer going to be doing the work they're not working even whoa and then the empress in reverse it's not me oh my gosh so how crazy to get the emperor and the empress in reverse uh yeah that's a could be a wife or a mother or a matriarch or something like that. 
they're like no longer working. Um, so maybe that's even why they feel lack. You know, they don't have income or they're hiding it. They're lying about something. Oh my gosh, we got 10 of, 10 of blades, which is ending betrayal, backstabbing. And then you got 10 of wands. So it's a huge heavy burden. They're, they just stopped doing any work and um, I feel like they're doing it all on their own or this whole thing is a heavy burden dealing with this empress person in reverse. Ooh. So she could be like a baby mama or she could be your mother. She could be a wife, a matriarch, but she's a feminine person who uh, is losing and being shady and sneaky. Okay. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. As I move forward with this, whatever we had going on here with this emperor. So now I've seen both emperor and empress in reverse. So it just goes to show this could be a boss, a female boss. Because it's supposed to be the boss lady or the boss man. The one in charge. Um, but I'm all, or or it represents a mother supposed to be taking care of things. Maybe she's supposed to be paying the bills and she's not. You know what I mean? Like even just even if she doesn't have the income coming in, she's supposed to be like if money is being given, she's supposed to be paying, but she's not. She's stealing money even or lying. I also see this as a person like portraying themselves as uh ooh, there's a scam with this. Like they're sick. They're lying about their physical ailments to get money and donations or, uh, you know, I mean, there's something very deceptive about this. Hmm. All right. Why is this emperor in reverse? And then this is right at the end of July. And then I'm going to go to the relationship messages for the Leos. All right. More clarification regarding this boss person even maybe they lose this is even foreclosure right of a business or a land that like they lose it because the bills aren't being paid oh oh it fell right on there yeah three of cups in reverse no reunion no party no return yeah this is like not coming to a get together or a celebration or a party. This is staying home. Um, it could be a business work party or it's somewhat. Uh, oh, okay. Love potion in reverse. Joy in reverse. Bliss in reverse. This is usually a celebration. There's no celebration here. They're, they're not celebrating. Hmm. Uh, taking things slow. What else? Let's finish up the message. What's the final message? The outcome for the end of July for the Leos uh, regarding the situation with healing. I'm going to relationship messages after that. 3-3. Three, three. How like crap is that? We're getting a lot of 3-3 three, three synchronicities to give clarification, okay? Um, wow. So three of cups reverse and then three of coins upright. So this is collaborating, creating, manifesting, uh like working together, investing time and money potentially in your own creations. It did go by this Knight of Pentacles and then the Hanged Man. Right? Mm. Let's see. 10, 12. 3, 12. I'm a lot of Pisces with it too. But this is taking it slow. And I'm... Um, being really meticulous with the details. This is about creating something um, that's worth money that you can hold, uh, whether it be art, um, you know what I mean, or work. I mean, your work should add value to people's lives. How, how do you add value? What does your creation do? Does it bring inspiration? Does it give them a necessary thing for healing, for help, whatever? Uh, you know, <laughs> make boats. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. It is whatever. But, um, huh. So this is collaborating, creating with this other, but doing things really slow. Hmm. Okay. That's the final message. Now we're going to go over to the uh, relationship messages. I see under deck, we see ignoring the pain. 
and maybe that's what is happening too like ignoring the pain the physical pain or the emotional the mental whatever um and so the the message is to you know go inside yourself <laughs> reflect uh, remove yourself from you know others and take time alone to connect to higher self and actually feel what part of your body needs healing so there would be times where so for example you know if i'm having aches or pains in certain parts of my body or anything like that you know it's like okay what do i need to do you know do i need am i like deficient in water or uh iron or uh do i need to go stretch um you know what i mean do i you know i exercise or is it time to sleep and rest or really getting in tune and asking your body what it needs to make it feel better that and it's not always like jumping to alcohol and drugs and get it i get it ibuprofen <laughs> uh, but still over overdoing any of those can be harmful for your body so anyways this could be something from past life right because we have rahu and k2 here the head and the tail of the dragon north node south node okay and finding true purpose oh this is a karmic oh a karmic lesson even so i'm saying this is a past life karmic lesson and it hurts but it's to learn this lesson um there might be a past life tie with this person and that's why it feels like how interesting is that and that's why it's saying having gratitude regardless of the you know Thank you for the lesson. And uh, I've, I've learned the lesson now. They may, this person, that may be also their karma. You know what I mean? Um, what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. To understand uh, that uh, money doesn't create happiness and worldly things uh, are. Ooh, like if you are greedy, you lose. There was the weirdest thing. I, I don't even know how I knew this back when, you know, when my life and my husband's life and everything, when things kind of shifted and we were getting out of just living the nine to five and living paycheck to paycheck or borrowing money from uh, family members or banks or paying off loans and different things like using credit cards, whatever. Uh, and it was like, finally, there was like an abundance coming in. And I don't even know why, but I just knew uh, it was like. Uh, if we are not kind and generous with this, it, we will lose it all. And so these are just things that we knew. And so when, uh, you know, it was just whatever opportunity when it needed to. There were times where it would be <laughs> like just giving real big tips, you know, to um, a waiter or a waitress or something. Or... Um, you know, seeing, I, it used to be like, I would just go randomly find some GoFundMe stuff every once in a while and find someone that it needed help paying medical bills or different things and not doing it out of any um, reason to receive back. But there's something that really, when you feel like you're helping someone, you're, you're doing it out of the kindness of your true heart and it's has nothing to do with, uh, look at me, look how good I am, or hoping to receive something in return. There is a sense of just, when you feel like you truly can help a person. And I often found that when they are family, family takes things for granted more than strangers do. <laughs> strangers are much more appreciative. Uh, you know, and sometimes you, they never know. Uh, I mean, uh, there was a few times where I did things like that and I would get the email going, who are you and why did you do this? You know, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> I don't know. I feel guided to. It came to my awareness. And, uh, you know, those are just little examples. And it doesn't have to be huge either. And if you're not in that that place either, you know, that's the thing. You, you got to make sure that you are taken care of and your family and your bills because it would be really unwise to start being giving away everything when you can't even pay your own bills and stuff. But if someone is just greedy, I've also seen it really grossly where a person uses their children to get money and it's gross. Like 
for example, like sitting outside of a, a the uh, the liquor store or a dispensary uh, with their cute little kids saying how they their kids don't have dinner and then asking if I've if we see their person in buying alcohol or you know medicinal marijuana stuff and I'm like um well first of all if your kids aren't eating then what the hell are they doing in there and why do you think it's our responsibility and then when it's we shut them down and say no they're very like oh, well bless you and I'm like mm, thanks for trying to scam us why do you think it's everyone else's so that just I, I just that just and and people and that's a manipulation and they're unwilling to help themselves and taking advantage of people's kindness taking advantage you know all right i don't know why i went there with that but that's what i had to do all right leo's leo's so i'm gonna start i'm shuffling all of these de luna answers we're gonna start with the aries energy and flow all the way through to the pisces okay what are we on time 105.55 wow here we go so these are your relationship messages now to get how it resonates when i bring up the zodiac sign now here's an example. So Leo's, like I said, you can also have rising sign or moon sign Leo. So if you happen to be, you know, a different sun sign, uh, it would be like, so example, if you are an Aries with a rising sign Leo, and I'm saying, you know, Leo with Aries, it would be literally Aries, Aries. Does that make sense? Uh, so an Aries dealing with another Aries, because I'm gonna go with sun signs and it can be any type of relationship. It doesn't always have to be romantic, it can be friendship, uh, siblings, neighbors, whomever. Uh, people in your community, work colleagues, whoever is on your mind or you're thinking of that you know what their sun sign is, right? And there is some weird uh, connection either. Maybe you're not fully communicating or expressing or you're completely out of each other's lives. All right, so let's see. Leo's dealing with the Aries. Leo's an Aries. And sometimes I get more than one, so I got two. Sacrifices must be made. Mm-hmm. Okay. And second option. Wow. And I kind of saw that with the Aries energy. I, um, I really even saw that with the Cancer sign, too. Like, the Aries energy was not there. And you did have the that fire sign and you had the, the Aries energy, the fool right there. Um, someone being foolish, someone being a second option, uh, sacrifices must be made, even removing mm, foolishness. Okay. Let's go to Taurus now. All right. Leo's dealing with Tauruses. I didn't really see too much Taurus. You did have a lot of earth energy. So we'll see you get there's, I see two different Tauruses. That's someone better, but the feelings are mutual. So two different Tauruses. Okay. Someone better. 33. Reflecting. And I'm seeing that. As, and then this, to me, these ones definitely look like they are romantic. Okay. Maybe you're at a crossroads between. The feelings are mutual. So this, to me, looks very loving. Like a soulmate. Like sweet. Like they're holding each other's pinky you know like they just hold hands the feelings are mutual all right all right so leo's dealing with the gemini's oh okay wow there might be quite a few gemini's you still miss me <laughs> queen of swords right there so maybe it's feminine doesn't have to be uh you still miss me whoa there's a lot and there's triggers they trigger you you trigger each other this love energy whoa that's one two three four five i also see it still hurts i've been patiently waiting and there are regrets yeah boredom regrets for it comes right there even Maybe about lying, about stealing, about being sneaky. There are regrets. And the final one is there is destined soul ties. Hmm. Okay. So it still hurts. One, two, three, four, five, potentially. Wow. Um, 
Destin's Soul Ties. Once again, this looks like the the swallowtail or something. This is the nodes. So this could have something to do with your your north north node. Okay, for some of you. Hmm. I'm gonna set that there. All right. Wow, Gemini's. Hey, whoa. It is worth it. You didn't mean it. Oh. And there's commitment. Wow. Okay. Whew. All right. So Leo's <laughs> dealing with the cancer signs. All right. There are soon to be quite a bit of that. So we will see. Leo's dealing with the cancer signs. All right. Leo's with the cancer sign. I need to reach out. Maybe they're a father even or a husband. Could be. It doesn't have to be, but uh, cancer sign need to reach out. All right. Uh, Leo's dealing with another Leo. Leo's dealing with other Leos. There's more than one. Um, I was disillusioned. Ooh. About money. Crystals. And someone is unhappy. Hmm. All right. All right. Leo's dealing with the Virgos. Leo's dealing with the Virgos. Boop, just one. Closure. I feel like someone is done healing and done resting. There's some closure with that. Wow. Virgos. All right. Leo's dealing with the Libras. Leo's dealing with the Libras. I got to do another shuffle. Libras. Leo's dealing with Libras. Whoa. Okay. Not ready yet. They're not ready yet. Here's two. Ooh. Overstuffed boundaries. Mmm. Ooh. Look. Someone came in. Like the, uh, I almost said sting, right? But it's clear. Or an enemy. But uh, this is the jellyfish, right? And if you get in there's tentacles, if you overstep your boundaries, you get stung. And then this other one says you don't think of me hmm. overstepped boundaries there are regrets you don't think of me okay leo libra hmm. all right leos and the scorpios leo's only with scorpios what a couple of them maybe someone has unmet knees oh might not have to do with sexual stuff i also see the feather showing that someone's flaky you know, like in insincere and undependable. And then we've also got accept for all it's worth. The wave, riding the wave. I got like the seagulls right here. How weird is that? Okay. I'm going to just set them over top as we go. 112, 46. All right, that was Scorpios. Let's go on to the Sagittarians. So Leo's dealing with Sagittarians. Leo's dealing, whoa, quite a few. Never again. Ooh. Never again. Someone better. That was also. Wow. Okay. Uh, unresolved issues. The feelings are mutual. Unresolved issues between you. And it's the wrong, ties, wrong time and wrong place. Oh, Leo and Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see. Now we go on to the Capricorn energy. Leo's dealing with the Capricorns. Let me give it another good shuffle. Leo's dealing with Capricorns. Leo's dealing with Capricorns. Whoa. I felt like a different one was going to pop up. It is worth it. Oh, look at all the little pokes and pins. You got the safety pin. You got the needle and the thread. It is worth it, kitty cat. Okay. Leo's dealing with. Maybe they trig you trigger each other though. <laughs> I just it says all these little pokes. This is a safety pin in the needle. Hmm. I also want to say this one. There is influence and distractions, and I am their light. Oh. Trust the universe. Okay. That's what you got. Leo's dealing with Capricorns. Okay. Now, Leo's, what's next? Oh, it's Aquarius. Yeah, your opposite. Okay, Leo's dealing with Aquarius. All right, Leo's dealing with Aquarius. You love me. Oh, but someone is unhappy. This is even cleansing and saging. Wow. You love me. 
I think you love them. <laughs> okay. And Leo's dealing with the Pisces. The final one, Leo's dealing with Pisces. Relationship message. Mm. Leo's dealing with Pisces. Gosh, just, I'm waiting for it to come out. Like, this is one's being sticky. There we go. You don't love me. Oh! Oh, we get you love me, you love me not. You don't love me. There are regrets. There's emptiness. Interesting enough, I brought up Pisces, right? Kaleas and Pisces. You don't love me. That's what they think or you think. Uh, look at all the other signs that are in this particular one. Um, so I see spotlighted um, Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius, and Scorpio, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. It has all of the signs on here. There's all these signs that show you don't love me. Oh, maybe that was what that was. Okay, did I? I'm like, oh my goodness. Hmm. All right. Lies and partial truth. So there is manipulation there. Partial truth, lies, um, all about the pendulum swinging. They think maybe it's never over and pride keeps us apart. You don't love me. Miscommunication as well. All right, Leo, that is what I have for your monthly for July. Thank you all so very much. Um, like I said, check out my channel for some other pick of cards. Um, hopefully this is giving you some guidance um, for your month and when your birthday season um, I'm excited to use your birthday messages. Uh, and then when we move into August energy, you guys will be the very first sign for the monthlies. Thank you, Leos. Bye-bye.